Hi, Diane here, I'm in the studio. Um, I just want to show you today a couple of little tricks with leaves. I love leaf stamps. I have this one, which is my open leaf stamp. I have this one, which is my book page leaf stamp. I have another open and book page leaf stamp there. And I have my solid leaf stamps. I think they're so useful. And the one we're going to do today, I'm going to use from further around the edge, and it's the open one, the one with the open leaves at the top. And this is what I'm going to teach you. This is what I call bleach out. So we've got a very dark background, and then we're going to take the colour out of the leaves. It's really, really cool to do. Okay? So we're going to use black ink, which I know a few of you can be a bit frightened of. Don't be frightened of black, it's lovely. And I'm going to use one of the lighter colours. So I think I'll use pink today. So I'm going to use my bubblegum pink and I'm going to use the black marble. So you need to decide where the um, flower, the leaves are going to be. And I'm not going to use any water with this because I want it to be quite intense. So I'm going to spray a puddle of ink down in this bottom corner. And then I'm going to take the black and I'm going to spray the black elsewhere. And as I said, I'm not going to use any water. I'm just going to use that to, to just blend, just get it so it's running a little bit. I'm just going to wipe up what's underneath. Normally I would, as you know me, I would get another um, journal or some tags and I would just mop all this up. But today, I'm just being tidy. So I'm going to take a piece of manila card and I'm going to transfer the rest of this ink because I just want one page of this. So I'm just going to get the manila card, I'm going to press it down. Don't worry about getting things on the back or ink coming over the edge. I'm going to take that off. And then this can be used exactly the same way on something else or I might decide to use it in some tags. Okay, so you can see the black and the pink have merged together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the open stamp and I'm going to take archival ink. Always use archival ink, it's a waterproof ink, it's oil based and it just means when I add more ink or anything over the top this is going to uh, stay exactly where I want it. It's not going to, um, let me turn this around, sorry, it's not going to smudge or bleed. So I'm going to come up to this corner and I'm going to press the stamp down and I'm just going to work my way round. Don't worry if you can't see it too much. Always take the ink pad to the stamp and what I should hear is fairy elephants. Fairy, sorry, fairy footsteps, not fairy elephants. Remember, we're fairy footsteps, not fairy elephants. Okay, so we've worked our way round. And for some reason, I always do this upside down, which is good for you, because you can see what I'm doing. But you want to take one of the uh, water brushes, the fine water brushes, and it's, this one just has water in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint where the leaves were. So if you can see, I'm just painting in the leaf and then I'm going to blot. Now can you see it's brought the colour out? So I'm painting in the leaf. So I just do two or three at a time and blot. You don't have to be precise and it's just lifting. You won't remove all the colour. So don't, you know, don't keep going again and again and again because all that will happen is you will end up with a hole in your paper where you've just gone back. There's nothing wrong with going back to a couple of times. You can do that, that's not a problem. Depends how fussy you are, really. So I'm just adding this in. Every now and again, you'll just need to blot your brush onto the kitchen roll because as you're picking up this black ink it's on your brush and it will get to the stage if you don't blot it that instead of picking the ink up you're actually putting the ink back on. 
Okay, so you can see what I'm doing and you just work your way around. And this works with any open stamp, any design. When I say open, I mean a design that we've got an outline and there's an open area in there. So it could be one of the house stamps, it could be the flowers, it could be the, the chickens, anything like that that you can take the colour out. Okay, so you can see the idea. This is where I've stamped on top of the colour and this is where I've bleached the colour out. And then rather than do the whole thing, I'll come back to that. Your next step is we need to dry this bit here because this is very, very wet. And so if we add any more ink on top of that, it will bleed. So we just want to lightly just waft it over the top. We don't need to cook this. People make the mistake of cooking it. We just need to lightly waft it over the top, like so. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this underneath colour back in. And I'm going to take um, the water brush filled with my ink. And what I did was I unscrewed it, I took the lid plug out of there, got a little pipette, sucked the colour up, put some in and it now has the colour in and as you can see I am addicted to them and I have them in every colour but I'm going to use the pink and all I'm going to do is paint the leaf back in and again it depends how precise you want to be you could use any colour but I find this just looks most effective when you use the actual base colour from before you see as you come up here more onto the black and you do, this is ink is neat it's just gone straight into the pen and I'm going to show you how to fill this in a minute Okay, so you get the idea. Oops. How cool is that? It's good, isn't it? Because it gives you the idea that the pink from underneath has come through. So I just want to show you a few. There's two tags. So this one obviously has got the, the green. And this one has got the pink. And then back to the page that I showed you first. So that's pure sunshine. That's pink again. That's the bubblegum pink. And can you see I've actually doodled round this time. I've waited till it's totally dry. I've taken the white pen and then I've just doodled round to make it stand out that bit more. You can see on this page actually, this is a double page that I was doing just to show. This is where I've just taken the ink out and left it. So I've just used the water brush, taken the ink out and not put it back in. And that is still really, really effective. There's my ghosting technique underneath. But you can see that's really, really effective. And this is exactly the same that I've painted the pink back in. And then I have one there where I've actually added more stamps to it as well so everything coordinates through. Okay, I hope you give that a go. I'll show you now how to fill the brush. Okay, so you unscrew the top of the water brush, you take out this black plug from the bottom. Okay, you then unscrew your ink, take a pipette and just suck it up, squeeze it in, I'm going to add two lots, oh I feel like a mad scientist doing this, oh a few more drops, 
there we go. And then make sure you put the plug back in firmly and then screw the two together. And then you need to get the ink coming down here. So you just press lightly, lightly on the barrel. Can you see it filling? It's coming down. And then just press the brush and it will come out the end. There you go. Okay. Easy as pie. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.